I first learned that I was HIV positive in 2004. My fear was, am I going to get the treatment right in time? Am I going to die? Inside myself, I could really feel that I was, I was draining away. I lost stamina. I could not even lift up my daughter who was one year, four months old then. That time, Mala was just introducing the HIV treatment and the guidelines said that you could only start treatment when your CD4 count is below 200. Had it been that I missed that opportunity, I don't think I could have survived. Now with the availability of treatment by the Global Fund, people are able to take care of their families. My health is important not only for me, but also for my children and my family. My status impacted my daughter where that she was also infected by HIV. She's very close to me. She's a sweet girl. <laughs> you could love her if you meet her. I got my daughter when we didn't have the chance to, to have prevention of mother to child transmission here in Malawi. The prevention of mother-to-child transmission program by the Global Fund really helped me to, to have my second child uh, HIV negative. It gave me the, the courage that I should go out and talk to other women about the importance of getting into the program because I had experienced the goodness about it. There can't be anything for us without us. So we have to get involved. It is important because we, we take the message right to the grassroots people and we sit down, talk to them, get their views. Whether they test positive or they test negative, you, you guide them on how best they can take care of themselves. I am the living example of what Global Fund has achieved over the years. It is important to continue investing in Global Fund because millions of lives have been saved. There is an opportunity that we can end this epidemic. <laughs>